Okay, breaking news right now at Stewart International Airport. That is where a plane has crashed during practice for the New York Air Show. No word yet on any injuries. We do have a crew on the scene. We'll bring you the latest information as soon as we get it here in the newsroom. Stay tuned. Okay, as we have been telling you, we do have breaking news right now in Newburgh. This is where a plane has crashed at the New York Air Show. Jackson Wang was there as it happened. He joins us now on the phone with details. Jackson, what's the latest down there on the ground? Uh, at about 2 o'clock, we saw this vintage, about vintage single-engine aircraft take off from the runway doing flips, turns, typical, typical air show uh, performances. And uh, during, during its run, the tailing actually broke off. At that point, we were wondering what was going on. I was on the runway when it actually happened with the rest of the media. We're all wondering what's going on here. Next thing you know, the plane actually took a sharp turn straight down, and it did not pull up. And next thing you know, you heard a big explosion. And at this moment, we do not know how many people are on board or know the condition of the, of the uh, pilot or pilots aboard, on board. So we'll continue to follow it. But at this point, many, of the, many people around me are, are just as shocked as I am what they witnessed and the air show is supposed to kick off tomorrow and we have not got word yet if that will stay uh, if that will still continue jackson as far as what the situation is there right now have they pulled spectators back are there rescue crews there on the scene so there are dozens of emergency personnel on the runway right now uh, as well as on this small field next to the airport which appears that's where the crash is we're having a hard time seeing it from where we are right now as the as, uh, police and uh, airport officials have kept us out. Uh, they removed all the media um, immediately off the runway after the incident uh, outside the outside the airport. And right now we're standing by waiting to hear from them uh, to see what the latest is. OK, that is our Jackson Wang there for us in Newburgh with the latest on this crash at the New York Air Show. We know that he will be providing us updates throughout the afternoon and evening. Jackson, thanks for that update right now. Okay, again, breaking news in Newburgh, where we have just learned that a pilot is dead after a plane crashed at the New York Air Show. Our Jackson Wang was there when it happened. He is joining us now by phone in Newburgh with the details. Jackson, what is the latest? The state police say that pilot was the only one on board when the crash happened. And again, he did pass away, unfortunately. And what I, we were on the park tarmac when it happened at around 2 o'clock. The plane had just taken off for a it seems like a routine practice stunt doing flips, turns in the air. And during that, during that uh, routine, the tail wing actually come off in pieces that were being were, were spread all over the the, uh, the runway when it when it came off. And the next thing we knew is the plane took a sharp turn down. And then the next thing you know, we heard a loud crash uh, in, a, in the field right next to the airport. And at this moment, we do not know what caused it. Um, and police are on, on scene investigating. There's uh, dozens of officers, emergency personnel here, and we will continue to follow the story and bring you any new info that we receive. Okay, that's our Jackson Wang there for us on the scene in Newburgh, where again, one pilot is dead following a crash at the New York Air Show. We'll keep you updated right here on Time Warner Cable News throughout the afternoon and evening. Okay, as promised, we are getting more now on that deadly plane crash at Stewart International Airport in Newburgh. We have been told that a pilot on a single engine plane died during a crash. We're getting an update now from authorities on what happened. Let's take it there now live. Failure. The plane entered into a steep dive and landed in a wooded area on the town of New Windsor property. The pilot, who was the only occupant of the aircraft, was deceased at the scene. There were no other injuries or property damage reported. We are withholding the name of the pilot until notification of next to kin. The joint investigation of this accident scene is being conducted by the New York State Police and the National Transportation, Transportation Safety Board. The remainder of today's flying activities were canceled due to the tragic accident. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family of the deceased pilot. The New York Air Show activities this weekend will go on to schedule. I'll take a couple questions.
no buildings. It was a wooded area. Uh, there were no people in the area where the aircraft crashed. Okay, thank you all. Okay, you just heard from state troopers at Stewart International Airport. More details now on what happened this afternoon. Uh, the troopers there, excuse me, telling us that a single engine civilian aerobatic pilot was flying a small single engine plane, crashed and died during practice for this weekend's New York Air Show at Stewart International Airport. State police confirming that the NTSB is being called in to investigate this pilot, his identity not being named at this time because his next of kin have not yet been notified. He's not from the area, so some issues getting in touch with his family. But state police saying that he was flying a GILES 202 airplane. He was part of the Carbon Fiber Air Show's outfit that was going to be performing at the New York Air Show this weekend. And state police saying that it appears there was a structural malfunction at this point looking like the tail of this plane broke off once that happened the plane then entering into a steep dive landing in a wooded area on town of new windsor property behind the crowd line of people looking on there were no people where this plane crashed no buildings damaged either landed in a wooded area the troopers say the pilot who was the only occupant again died at the scene now our jackson wang is there he actually watched this all happen with witnesses he spoke to those onlookers and obviously they were shocked by what they saw the back of the plane as it went straight up it started falling apart and there was smoke coming out off of it for a decent while but as it went up as soon as it went up parts fell off it dived straight down and soon after that no loud it sounds just doof. We were hoping that it was part of the show, and unfortunately, the it looked like the pieces of the tail came off, and he just he went right down into the ground, no eject, nothing. He just and that was it. Okay, and Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney also releasing a statement just a short time ago. It says in part, "quote I was deeply saddened to hear of the tragic accident." which took a pilot's life today in New Windsor. My thoughts and prayers are with the pilot's family and all those participating in the New York Air Show this weekend. Now, the New York Air Show will go on as scheduled. All flying activities, however, today, Friday, have been canceled. And again, the NTSB is being brought in to investigate what happened here. State police preliminarily not sure if this pilot did have a parachute or if he was able to eject from the cockpit of this plane, a GILES 202 aerobatic stunt plane. This pilot again with the carbon fiber air shows outfit, his name not being released at this time until his next of kin has been notified. Again, Jackson Wang on the scene there for us. He's gonna have much more on witness reaction and what state police are saying about this crash throughout the evening. Keep it tuned right here to Time Warner Cable News. A pilot dead after a plane crash during a practice run at the New York Air Show. Time Warner Cable News reporter Jackson Wang standing by for us at Stewart International with the latest. Hi, Jackson. Well, hi, Solomon. The NTSB is still on scene right here behind me investigating this afternoon's crash. Now, I was on the runway with other members of the media when the accident occurred just after 2 this afternoon, and all of us are just stunned by what we witnessed. It all happened so fast, I didn't realize even that happened. But then once I pulled the camera away, I saw all this debris coming down in the airfield. Jim West has taken photos at dozens of air shows. But this one picture will always stick with him. And then I watched the plane loop over and crash. This is the moment the tail wing of an aerobatic airplane broke off mid-flight. Moments earlier, that same plane was doing stunts and flying smoothly. As soon as it went up, parts fell off. It dived straight down, and soon after that, no loud sounds, just doof. It was pretty, uh, pretty upsetting to see that, actually, because uh, we thought it was part of the show as well. It looked like confetti coming out of the plane. State police say the single pilot on board died from the crash. No one on the ground was hurt. Officials say the plane was inspected by the FAA before taking practice. There were several aircraft that were going through a practice cycle, and uh, his, he was up there doing his practice run. 
Police say it appears the plane experienced structural failure causing the crash. All flying activities for the day were canceled, but officials say this weekend's air show will go on as planned. We followed all the FAA protocols for safety. Uh, they approve everything that has to do with air shows. It's just really sad to see this, the, you know, the day before the air show weekend, and uh, none of us were expecting to see this. As the NTSB continues to investigate this crash, the pilot and his family will certainly be in the thoughts and prayers of those taking part in this weekend's show. Now, State Police is withholding the pilot's name until the family is notified. As for the air show, everything that is scheduled will go on accordingly. Sal, back to you. Okay, that's our Jackson Wing for us on the scene there in New Windsor. Jackson, thanks for that update.